Hello, hello, hello. So today is Friday. It is weekend here in Qatar, so we don't have work. Tomorrow again, back to work. We only have one day weekend for private sector. So I'm here at fourth floor. As you can see, the gym is there. Pool is there. It's all closed. There are some kids playing some people sitting reading their books but they maintain keep distance so i'm going to update you my covid update today march 27 so i'm going to update you about here in qatar so we have uh, yesterday we have total of 12 new cases so total uh, covid 19 cases positive is now 549 here in qatar so we have also total 43 recovery including the two persons so total covid 19 test now in qatar is around 13,681 that's uh, the total people tested the 12 cases yesterday there is five qatari including they come from they just arrived from uh, europe so i will look some article here new article from the peninsula it was yesterday the amir amin's provision of decree law 200,000 Qatari al fine or imprisonment for three years for violating infectious diseases law it means that yep if you are in quarantine you are positive and you're roaming around you don't stay in your area where you are keep to prevent spread or if you open your company uh -huh. so you will find 200,000 Qatari Riyal or three years imprisonment and next and here's another thing it was posted yesterday Qatar non-essential businesses to remain shut from Friday so started today such as all cafes and juice stalls education services and support centers workshop and centers concerned with arts theatrical and entertainment services wedding and events event services and centers the shoe and watch stall repair boats will remain closed from friday so other commercial shops to operate between 6 a.m on until 7 p.m only so i hope our clinic will follow this i don't know if we are included with non-essential but it says here other commercial shops to operate between 6 and 7 pm only the food stores pharmacies and delivery services including delivery from restaurants are excluded from this how come they are excluded and uh, there is zero tolerance for violators of law issued by his highness the amir on prevention of infectious diseases so that's all the update for qatar we're going to the whole world covid19 update so you can hear the kids playing so here's the update of world ometer around the world today the coronavirus cases is now 552,639 and the total deaths jumps to wow 25,044 and recovered 128,706 so these are all for today that it's getting higher so we'll check what what country is on top now America. new cases of death 
today pas uh, 493 in Spain, Iran 144, Netherlands, then followed Belgium, Germany, Portugal, Switzerland, Sweden, USA, Denmark. So we'll check with the total deaths now. Top one, still Italy, 8,215 deaths. Followed by Spain, 4,000, China, Iran, France, USA, UK, Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, and we'll check the total cases. So, top one, wow, USA, they have now 85,762. Kids are crying, <laughs> sorry. And followed by China, so USA is now the number one with the total cases. Why, why, why? Because of the people, so stubborn. That China, Italy, Spain, Germany, Iran, France, Switzerland, UK, Gordon, Netherlands, Austria, Belgium, Portugal, Canada, Norway, Turkey, Australia, Sweden, Israel, Brazil, Malaysia, Shikia. Oh, sorry if I read it wrong. I don't know how to pronounce this. So, that's all my update. So, I will check another, another report. I will open again the link that Oliver Garcia gave me. <laughs> because I did not check well the data he gave me we'll see also with this so in dashboard coronavirus COVID-19 this is a uh, cases by Johns Hopkins total confirmed 551,000 337 total deaths 24,906 so it's not same with the another one so we will check it's here also I missed that thing last the video the US top one that is the cases number of cases next followed by China Italy Spain, Germany, France, Switzerland, Kingdom, Korea, so on and so forth. So, thank you for sharing this dashboard, Oliver Garcia. So, the question is why still increasing? Why? Who to blame? Of course, us people. There are some people just saying it's like a normal flu. They can do whatever they want. Um, they don't want to stay at home, go partying. Spring break, yeah, I will have also talk about that lady about who joined that spring break in Miami. I know all people who joined there, they have the same mentality. So it's hard to deal with those people. So it's hard to stop the, uh, that virus for, uh, for spreading. So, staying at home and applying prevention measures are the most valuable services that can be provided to our community and our nation during this crisis, people. Please, follow what the government told you to do. Help each one of us. Oh, it's so sad why there's a lot of people like that be take, uh, taken for granted they thought it's only a hoax they are not worried how 
how many people dying already so there is a lot in the internet i will show you some in italy doctors and nurses dying taking care of the people well i'm not disturbed of what she did licking the toilet because i know she cleaned it first she only need attention that's why you think you will lick but that. now everyone else on tiktok is following her yeah example. of course i don't believe that i just don't like what uh, she said about coronavirus about the elder people why she joined i will talk that later in another video why you're questioning me now so that's all for my update keep safe